Hi everyone, today we're going to look at ligand exchange reactions and we're going to be using two materials. So the first is going to be copper 2 sulfate solution. So we've dissolved these crystals here in water to form this blue solution. And the next thing that we'll be using now will be nickel 2 chloride that we've dissolved now to form this green solution and the solvent is water. So these are two first row transition metal ions. Let us begin. So in the first boiling tube, I'm pouring some of the copper 2 sulfate solution and the ligand that I'm going to exchange it with now would be the chloride ions. So as you can see, this is fuming because this is concentrated hydrochloric acid, very dangerous stuff right here. So look at what's going on. The blue solution, let's mix. So it went to blue and then green. What else is happening? What's the other color change that you're seeing? I do hope that you're seeing the yellow. Okay, this is taking too long and it's fuming. <laughs> so let me just pour some in it now. Alright, perfect. So remember the color changes that we went through. At first it was blue, and then it turned to green, and now it's at yellow. So that's the first ligand exchange reaction that we want to explore, or that we have explored now that we've done it. I'm going to cover that right there because it is fuming hydrochloric acid. I'm going to rest this right here now. So the second ligand exchange reaction that we'll be observing now would be for the reaction between nickel 2 chloride solution and concentrated ammonia or aqueous ammonia. It stinks to high heaven and uh, I did cover it because this is concentrated aqueous ammonia. So are you recording what you've seen? So the green solution changes to blue. So if I keep adding concentrated aqueous ammonia, I am intensifying the color of the blue that we're seeing. So I think at this point in time, we have satisfactorily exchanged all the ligands. Gosh, this stinks. All right, so I'm going to cover this right now and put these away because we've successfully completed this reaction so please take note of the colors of the solutions before during and after the experiment so to summarize now the copper 2 sulfate solution when you added the concentrated hydrochloric acid to it it moved from blue to green to yellow and with the nickel 2 chloride solution when we added the concentrated aqueous ammonia so it, it moved from green to blue. So your task now is to look at the ligands and the arrangement of the ligands around these central trans, um, transition metal ions. <laughs> Gosh, I'm being disturbed by all the fumes here. Around these central transition metal ions and then you're going to draw the arrangement of them in the different complexes that are formed. That's it for now. You've learned science, it's to see you next, Massey. Bye-bye.